Hey, this is David with TechSmart Boss. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the dashboard in the HubSpot CRM, the free version. And there's one little widget that I love to add that I'll show you the value of. Uh, if you're setting up HubSpot for the first time or you need a little assistance, definitely go out and check out TechSmartBoss.com slash HubSpot as well. So you can see all the other videos that we have. This is going to be a free course preview, so enjoy. Now we're back on our dashboard here and you'll see there's some actual information populated now. This comes from the deals that we had imported earlier and we put some values and we put some stages and you'll notice now that we've got some deal forecast information, we've got some team activity, you know, slightly, you can, you can kind of see we created, imported all those contacts. So the dashboard actually has some information on there now. Um, once you start to leverage the CRM, this will become very useful and you'll be able to get a lot of information uh, from this. Now, out of the box in the free version, um, there's going to be limited things that you can kind of change and configure on this dashboard. You'll notice that this is an area where a lot of things have this little lock symbol, which means that you have to purchase an add-on. But let's go through exactly what you can do in the free version of the dashboard. First, you'll notice there's a filter. So you can definitely go in here and start to filter by date range and look at uh, all your different values uh, in the time frame you want. You can also quickly filter by your sales reps, which is very useful. So you can look at each individual rep. This is great for having status reports and meetings to be able to see exactly what's going on from a sales rep perspective. So if I were to go in here and apply one of my sales reps, I can then go in and take a look at exactly what they're doing and click to drill down and see their specific deals. And again, continue to click to drill down and talk about specific opportunities with that individual rep. So this makes sales meetings go uh, really nicely. And you'll see here, I can just turn that off there. You can also do it by pipeline. So you can look at that by your various deals and pipelines as you want. Uh, the one report, you'll notice here, I can add additional reports to this dashboard. But when I do that, there's really only one that's not included by default that I say uh, is added. And, I, and I actually, most of them, um, the other ones you have to pay for. So let's go down and you'll see the one I'm talking about is this guy here, Activity Feed. Uh, I like to add that. So I'll go ahead and add that. And that's just going to be tied to the emails. Uh, by default, you can track 200 emails with the HubSpot CRM for free. That's what that sales plug-in. Uh, but if you do upgrade to Sales Pro, then this is great. It'll give you all the notifications of the emails that you're tracking. And then everything else you'll see is add. Uh, if I do click on this, it'll give me a, uh, a little uh, promotional video and, and talk about I need the marketing for this. And, you know, I could get this by marketing free. So you can kind of read the notes and, and, and sort of understand what's included and what's not. In fact, if you expand... This will take you straight into those sections. So these are all the marketing items that you could add on to. Under sales, you know, we have all the deal stuff already added. Anything else is going to be an add-on that if I click on that, you'll see that I could try for 10 days. But then it's $200 per month, which I, th I think is sort of pricey to get some of those um, uh, charts that way. Sales Pro is that plug-in. And you can see that once you upgrade to Sales Pro, You'll be able to bring in some of the meeting things if you're using that, notes, uh, if you're doing any of the calling out of the system, the sequences, which are very valuable, but that's in the Sales Pro. And then to customize any of these, you'd also need to have either the marketing free, as in this one, or you need to have the add-on. So as I mentioned, the only thing that I really add on that's included out of the box is the activity feed. And again, that's assuming that you're using the plugin. Once we do that, we'll hit done and we'll get back to our dashboard and that activity feed will be here at the bottom and you'll see i haven't connected my inbox yet so it's giving me that message uh i can also you know remove any of these very easily uh by by doing that i can edit the only thing i'm really going to be able to edit would be to set the de the, the date range by default and add some of those filters that we talked about but i like to change change those filters at the at the uh top level aspect and then the other key thing that you can do on this dashboard is you can set yourself up a recurring email so that if you didn't want to log in i mean i would just say log in on a regular basis you should be in the crm on a regular basis but you can also set up an email that can go to someone and have that come out as a pdf or powerpoint 
on a specific daily or weekly or monthly frequency and send that email out. So very easy to set up an email, which is a, a nice touch to be able to email out the dashboard. And you can kind of see how that looks here. Um, so that, that kind of recaps the free aspects of the dashboard. Um, definitely you can go in and upgrade and get more features. But once you start to use your dashboard, I think you'll find these reports you know, very useful in the free version itself. Hey, if you like this video, be sure to go out to techsmartboss.com slash HubSpot and learn about our course on how you can set HubSpot up in your business. Could be a lot of the advanced tips that you may be missing that we can help you with. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page. We'll be putting out a lot more videos like this, not just on HubSpot, but other technology as well. Thanks for watching.